Now, forewarned weather, rated Middle Tennessee's most accurate forecast. 15 minutes after 4 o'clock on this Friday morning, and let's not bury the lead. It is Friday. We made it to the end of the work week. A little round of applause from Holly. and Wow, that's a little more than you anticipated at 4:15 in the morning. Let's take a look at what's happening out there. We're actually going to start with Saturday morning's forecast because we've got a couple events happening, including the Music City Mutt Strut, and then following that, the Dog Day Festival at Centennial Park. This benefits the National Humane Association. Dagny the dog is going to be the leader of the pack. She'll be down here in about an hour and 45 minutes or so, but looking okay tomorrow morning. It's going to be a little warm, so I think we're going to alternate between jogging and walking that 5K. I don't want to overstress her because you know she's not a puppy anymore. 71 degrees as we get checked in around 8 o'clock and then as the Dog Days Festival starts, it's going to be a little warmer. It's going to be a little muggy, but any chance of rain tomorrow looks like it's going to hold off until the afternoon and early evening. No rain out there this morning. The only potential issue is a little bit of fog, but not seeing much of that from the various weather bug cameras across the midstate. Looking good from the city of Clifton, looking good in West Nashville, and looking good towards downtown Nashville as well. And you can even make out Venus if you have the resolution turned up high enough on your tel television as well in the eastern sky there. Temperatures are a little warmer than they've been the past couple of days. Starting off at 63 degrees here at the station in West Nashville, 64 officially in Nashville at the airport, and also 64 in Murray, 65 in Hopkinsville is the warm location. Plenty of 50s on the map still at this point as well. Mid 50s in eastern middle Tennessee. Average low temperature is 60. So we're a little above that, but we're getting to the time of year now. Late summer, first day of fall is just five days away. That even slightly above average temperatures are still pretty comfortable in the mornings. This afternoon may not be quite as comfortable. It's not going to be dreadful, but still enough humidity to notice, and that goes along with high temperatures in the upper 80s. Just a few clouds floating through. No rain chances in the forecast yet today. And really no rain chances in the forecast tonight. It looks like any showers or storms that try to move in from the northwest are going to kind of fizzle by the time they move into the northwestern corner of the midstate early tomorrow morning. As we head towards noon tomorrow, could see a spotty shower or two developing, but the better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms is going to be tomorrow afternoon and evening. You see a lot more showing up on the radar simulation, but plenty of gaps in between these scattered showers and thunderstorms. So it's not going to rain everywhere. If you do get some rain, it's not going to rain all afternoon. These showers and storms will move west to east across the midstate, but if you have any outdoor plans tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, not saying it's going to rain, it could rain. So just plan ahead. Be ready to adjust if you have to kind of be flexible for today. No rain, just heat 88 degrees. We can call that hot this time of year. Now back down to the mid 80s this evening should be right around 80 degrees as the high school football games kick off this evening down to the mid 60s tonight. Not quite as cool and then still warm tomorrow before those showers and thunderstorms develop. It's going to be scattered activity, but it will bring temperatures back down to around normal for the second half of the weekend and the first part of next week. Next week, that is a complete punt. I am just going with a 20% chance of a shower or a storm each day. The low to mid 80s for high temperatures. It's an unsettled weather pattern, but it looks like the highest chances of rain are going to stay outside the mid-state. We'll kind of take that as it comes. Hedging okay. your bet a little bit. I am, I'm making no bets whatsoever. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> there's a chance. I'm saying there's a chance. <laughs> saying there's a chance. a chance. All right, 14 right now.